Is your Euphorbia milii plant just green for months? Maybe it's even dropping leaves and you have no idea how to get those gorgeous flowers to show up? Well, you are in the right place because today I'm sharing two scientifically proven tips that professional Euphorbia cultivars use not just to boost flowering but to help your crown of thorns plant bloom more frequently and abundantly throughout the year. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one, maximize the light exposure. To produce those vibrant flowers, crown of thorns requires a lot of sunlight. Ideally, six to eight hours of direct sunlight every single day. Here is the science. Euphorbia milii is a highlight succulent. More sunlight equals more photosynthesis, and photosynthesis is what drives the plant to produce energy not just for leaf growth, but more importantly, for flower production. If your plant is not flowering, chances are it's simply not getting enough light exposure. So, what are the best light conditions? Place your plant near a south-facing window, terrace, or sunny balcony. Outdoor placement works best if your weather allows it. If you are keeping it indoors, supplement with a grow light during winter or cloudy seasons. Here is a pro secret for you. More sunlight signals the plant to enter its reproductive cycle, leading to more buds and continuous blooms. It's like flipping a switch in the plant's biology. Tips number two, ensure appropriate soil mix. Crown of thorns has a succulent root system, which naturally stores water. That means if your soil retains too much moisture, the roots will suffocate due to lack of oxygen, leading to root rot. And guess what? There will be fewer flowers. Scientifically speaking, root health directly affects flowering hormones, especially cytokinin, which is responsible for flower formation. Rotting roots mean no hormonal signaling for blooming. So the ideal soil mix must have fast draining ability, slightly gritty, rich in minerals, but not heavy in organic matter. Here is my recommended soil mix that you can try out. One part soil or regular potting mix, half part perlite or pumice or sand, one third part coarse sand or small stones, one third part charcoal, and half part compost. I have a detailed video on the Euphorbia soil mix recipe video link in the i button. You also can go with the regular cactus or succulent soil mix, but this mixture mimics the type of soil such plants grow in nature. It keeps the roots well aerated while preventing excess water retention, creating a stress-free environment for flowering. Here is a pro tip. Choose a slightly smaller pot. Mild root-bound conditions actually help the plant produce more flowers instead of just leaves. It's a survival mechanism. When resources are slightly limited, the plant prioritizes reproduction. So, to achieve maximum blooming throughout the year, remember these two key points. Provide maximum sunlight, which is six to eight hours of direct sunlight daily, and maintain well-draining soil that will keep those roots healthy and oxygenated. Follow these two proven tips and your Euphorbia milii will reward you with clusters of beautiful, long-lasting flowers. If you want to go through more detailed information, check out our comprehensive blog post linked in the description below. It includes scientific references and additional care tips. If this video helped you, smash that like button and subscribe to Plantology for more science-backed plant care tips.